Hey Cucumbers, as you can see, I have a new version of the Speedo Centrifuge here, and there's a couple key differences from the last version. So first off, as you can see, it's much smaller. If we compare the footprint of the previous one, it's about half the size, roughly. And also, it no longer needs a lot of extra parts. So for example, these standoffs, pulley gear, and the pulley itself. It's all eliminated. Other than that, the centrifuge works basically the same. You have the cloche on top to add extra protection while it's spinning. You can load in the samples in up top, and then to control the speed, you just twist it out here. And you can see the speedometer goes up. The way that I managed to do this was with a worm drive system. So instead of using the pulleys for the 1 to 7 gear reduction, I'm able to do that with the worm drive here, saving tons of space. And it also shifts it to a 90 degree, which allows me to mount the Speedo facing forward here instead of vertically like the previous position. The assembly of the centrifuge is also quite simple. First, the square drive and gear are hammered together. Once you've completed that, you can attach into the bearing. The bearing will slide in to the mount here. The speedometer can then be attached through these two screw holes, and it'll rest on this lower bracket as well. The top plate will then go on top, and it's secured by these five uh, screws. The motor can also be screwed in here. Wiring can go out through the side. And finally, the worm drive can be attached to the motor and secured with this screw hole here. And that's it, the Speedo Centrifuge V2. If you'd like to try making your own, I've added a printables link in the video description. And if you have any suggestions or like the project, feel free to comment that below. Thanks.